Hi, what is up my dudes? It's Ariel and I am back for another video. Today we're gonna be talking favorites. Favorites of this month, May, and last month, April, because I didn't do last month. So yeah, let's just get into it. I can't wait. Okay, so it's been a little bit since my last favorites video. I feel like I have a decent amount of favorites to give to y'all. But before we get started, I want to talk about my first favorite, which is Dossier. Dossier has partnered with me for this portion of today's video. If you don't already know, Dossier is a company that reproduces high-end luxury scents at a fraction of the price, keeping the exact same quality by cutting all the expenses and the infamous brand tax. Dossier is great because it has a risk-free system that allows you to try the perfumes before committing to them, which is super important important when you're buying fragrances online and they offer free returns and exchanges forever. Their scents are also super affordable. Any perfume from Dossier is $39 while designer scents can range from $50 up to $280 at their retail cost. I've been quite a fan of Dossier for a minute. I've tried a bunch of their other scents but the two scents that I'm trying out now for this season are Woody Sandalwood and Floral Honeysuckle. I love both of these scents but my definite favorite has been Woody Sandalwood which is based on the Labo's Santal 33 fragrance. I've been wearing it pretty much every day. I wear it to work, I wear it on a night out, and I just really love it. It makes me feel very sophisticated, and I really like a scent that is unisex, or sometimes I even prefer more of a masculine scent, and I feel like this is perfect because it is unisex, and it has quite a musky scent to it. The base notes are musk, sandalwood, and amber, and it just makes me feel very edgy. So I've been loving wearing wearing that and it has definitely been my signature scent for the past two or three months. The other scent I got is Floral Honeysuckle which is based on the fragrance Gucci Bloom and this is so summer. I'm saving it for maybe a month or two in the future because it just screams summer to me. It's so floral and light. The base notes are Oris, Sandalwood, and Vanilla. It's a bit more of a girly feminine scent compared to Woody Sandalwood so I think it would be perfect for day events, parties, and just summer in general so can't wait to start wearing this more regularly as well but for now I'm just totally riding out my love for this Woody Sandalwood fragrance. Both of these scents when I've worn them have lasted pretty much all day and I get compliments on both of these. People are like oh my god you smell so good which is new to me because I used to not really wear perfume or any kind of fragrance often. Wearing these regularly people have definitely started to take notice. Dossier also has a new payment method that lets you earn store credit. Select catch at the last step of checkout and you can earn $10 bonus credit. You can get rewarded with 10% store credit on every order. Dossier also has a welcome offer of up to 20% on the website. Additionally, you can use my code ARIELMCKENNA10 for 10% off your order. This can be combined with the welcome offer of 20% off, so altogether you can get up to 30% off your first order by using the discount code. Click the link down below to shop Dossier's affordable perfume and be sure to use my code ARIELMCKENNA10 at checkout. Thank you so much to Dossier for partnering with me for this portion of today's video. And now let's get right into it. As you know, I tend to start with what I've been up to this month, or in this case, the past two months. So yeah, let's talk about it. What have I been up to? I haven't been up to YouTube, as you have seen. I have not been very consistent. I'm getting back on it though. I'm getting back on it. The last video I posted, I'm so proud of it, but it literally took me three weeks to edit. I had an hour and a half of footage I had to cut through. So that's why I've been missing for the past three weeks. I've literally just been working on that one video, but hopefully I'm going to be back on my editing, posting schedule. So that's what I've not been doing, but what have I been doing? So I graduated. I finished my last semester of my senior year of college, which is pretty awesome. It sounds so crazy to say, but yeah, I am. I'm technically done with college. It doesn't really feel like I'm done done because I'm going to med school in the fall so I have another four years ahead of me but yeah I have my bachelor degree. I have a bachelor of science and I majored in biomedical science. I didn't minor but yes that is the current state of the union. I'm so glad to be done with classes. I'm so glad to be in summertime. I think the summer is gonna be a good one. I've never lived in the city, New York City, during the summer. For the past two summers I've been in in Long Island which sucked it literally sucked so bad because I didn't have my own car and you kind of need a car to do anything and none of my friends lived in Long Island and it was just bad vibes I lived with my parents 
parents. No shade to my parents, I love my parents, but completely different thing. But now I'm out on my own in the big city for the summer. I have little obligations or things to uphold, but nothing as serious as school. So yeah, it's nice. I've been enjoying my summer so far. Can't wait to show you what I get up to this summer. Moving on, what else have I been up to? I have turned 21. So many big things are happening. I turned 21 last month in April. Not much to say about it. I didn't do really much of anything crazy. On my actual birthday, I was studying for a test. My birthday was on a Saturday, I'm pretty sure, but I had a test on Monday, so I was in all weekend studying. I literally made myself a Moscow mule in my apartment, went to the deli, got a sandwich, and then I watched Jackass Forever, which was not good. But that was my uneventful actual 21st birthday. And then later on, after I was done with my test, my friend and I went to a rave in Brooklyn. It was fun. It was cute. It was slay. I don't know. I don't think I'm much of a drinker or a big party person, but we'll see because technically I'm just getting into the realm of all those possibilities. Bars in New York City be charging $18 for a drink. <laughs> <laughs> y'all can keep it, y'all can keep it. I don't need it, like, I'm over it already. And I just turned 21. I am in fact an Aries, I feel like people ask a lot. I think I said it a couple times, but I'm an Aries, my birthday was in April, and now I'm 21. What else have I been up to? I got a new job! <laughs> I've been pretty busy, as it seems. I got a new job after finishing my last class for the semester. I walked into this place, and I bought something, and they were like, are you looking for a job? And I was like, Yes! And they gave me the job and it's awesome. I don't want to say exactly what it is or where it is or like what I do because I don't want to dox myself. But it's retail but it's like at an art gallery type thing. My coworkers are so cool. The job is so chill. We literally watch 90 Day Fiance when it's slow. It's so fun. I work like nine hours a day though which is also another reason why it's been hard for me to upload consistently. I'm part-time, so three or four days a week, but it's nine hours a day. So when I come back from a long day of work, the last thing I want to do is sit down again and do another job, even though I don't consider this my job at all, but it's like work, you know? So yeah, but it's been really fun. I was going to do something more medically focused during the summer, and I was going to work at a hospital, but the hospital job was five days a week and possibly some weekends, nine to five, which would literally be my entire summer and then I'd go back to school doing more medical stuff. They also wanted me to commit to working there for a year. I'm going to medical school in the fall. I considered deferring for a year and just working and saving but I'm gonna have to take out loans anyway. There's not really much of a point. I don't want to defer. I want to go back to school. Keep the momentum I have because the longer I wait the harder it's gonna be to get back into it. So yeah I'm just using this summer to chill, de-stress, take some me time, and do things that I find are interesting and fun and kind of separate from medical school because I don't like to be too surrounded by only medical stuff because it's what I do with most of my time anyway. So it's nice to take a break and change it up every once in a while. I think it keeps me from being burnt out when the school year comes. But yeah, my new job has been really fun. I've met some really cool people. It's so chill. I love getting dressed up for work every day. I know in my last video I talked about, oh, I wore this to work or I plan to wear this to work because it's fun to get dressed up for work, especially now living in the city. And I don't know, give me a place to wear all my clothes, which is so stupid, but yeah. And lastly, what else have I been doing? I've been hanging out, just generally, meeting new people, living my little life, and it's been fun. I think I'm finally getting to experience what it's like to stereotypically live in New York City, because since I moved back to New York City, I've been living in New York City, but I haven't been living in New York City, you know what I mean? I was a student, and all I would do every day is go to campus, go to my class, come home, study all night, eat in, make some random thing from Trader Joe's for dinner, stay in my apartment, go to campus. It really wasn't giving diversity, variety, and I didn't have time to do any of those things. But now I finally have the time to do it, so you know I'm taking advantage of that time, period. I try to just do different things each day, especially on my days off. Go out, meet new people, hang out with friends, spend some time alone. I've been finding myself having to schedule time alone because I'm so used to being alone all the time. 
time. That's my preference to be alone. And I've been alone all through quarantine and these past few months when I was a student. I really didn't hang out with people. I was just alone pretty much all the time. And I got really used to that and I didn't realize how much I love that. But I also don't mind being social and I like it and I love meeting new people and stuff. But I didn't realize how draining it would be continuously meeting new people, talking to people every day. So I found myself having to actually pull back and schedule time for myself just to have that alone time and unwind completely alone but I think that's a nice problem to have so yeah that's what I've been up to okay moving on let's talk about my clothing favorites I know it's clothing favorites but for some reason this month or for this favorites video I don't really have many specific clothing piece favorites but I do have more so shoe favorites and some accessory favorites so let's get into it starting off with my Birkenstock Boston clog these are more of an April favorite I haven't really worn these all that much this month in May but this video is for both months so I'm gonna include them I got these I guess the beginning of April and when I was still in classes I would wear these every day cuz I'd go to class and then go to the library or like the study rooms to study and I enjoy having something that I could slip my foot in and out of and they were super comfy they were just a really chill thing to wear I don't know I just really liked them they made me super happy to put on I don't know maybe I just wore them so much because they were new I definitely do want to see how much I reach for them throughout the summer but I do really like them preferably when I'm not doing a lot of walking because they kind of gave me blisters the one time I wore them and walked maybe like two and a half miles they started to give me blisters but I do really like them I think they're cute they're very comfy very very comfy which I appreciate you know I put comfort at one of the top things on my list I'd say that they're worth the money if you plan to wear them regularly these are one of those things I just wouldn't buy secondhand because I don't know people be putting their raw feet in there at least I put my raw feet in there and I wouldn't want to wear a shoe someone else put their raw foot into especially it gets kind of sweaty in there you know so I'd say if you're gonna get them I'd just get them new but we'll see how much I wear them throughout the summer my next favorite is another shoe I had to go back and see if I put this as a favorite in the past already but I didn't which I find surprising but I really been wearing them now I think they go a lot better with my summer and spring wardrobe versus my winter wardrobe hence why I wasn't really wearing them too much before but been loving these love dressing them up love dressing them down you can see how I styled them a bit in my last video where I did 10 outfits but these definitely slay I love them even more because of the fact that I got them from the thrift store and I didn't pay 90 bucks for them even though the retail price on these is so good and worth it and once I wear those ones out and they get really dingy I'm totally fine with buying another pair of retail I think that they're probably gonna be one of those shoes that I buy a couple times kind of like my Air Force ones I at this point have had three pairs I just keep buying them because I wear them so much and they get really dingy so I could see that happening with my Adidas Sambas I almost bought another pair at Crossroads the other day it's a consignment thrift store and there was a pristine pair of Adidas Sambas in my size and I was like oh should I get them they were 20 bucks ish and I was really torn I almost got them but I didn't want to do too much it's kind of excessive also it was such a good find for someone else so I didn't want to take that away from them but I can see myself getting another pair in the future I don't know why I have that mindset like girl you have a pair like relax relax but they're that good if it says anything so definitely been one of my favorites okay the next two clothing favorites are accessories number one being this little bow I wear it at least once or twice a week in my hair it's just really cute yeah it's that simple it's cute I wear it in my hair yes I like this one specifically because it has the lace on it I got it on eBay funny enough I wanted to use it when I was packaging a gift for someone but it ended up being too short but I just hold on to it anyway and I'm glad I did because it looks so cute in my hair and then lastly these have been such a big favorite of mine these past two months and that's these little glass pendants I'll take some of them out so I was at the street fair sometimes on the weekend in New York City they'll have a bunch of food vendors and clothing vendors and vendors of random crafts and stuff just on the street and I ran into one I wasn't even planning on going or looking for it but I looked through all the little booths and there was this one booth and they were selling a bunch of little glass pendants like this 
these are some hearts this one has a little freeze dried flower in it pretty cool there's some crosses in this one i'm gonna show you one of my favorites i haven't worn it yet but it's just so cool this huge glass peace sign and it has some flowers inside as well oh look at my nails they're gel i did them myself that's also been one thing i've been doing recently i'll show you the last nail set i did but i finally got a gel nail machine so that's also been another favorite of mine but back to the topic these pendants are so cute they were three dollars each and i originally bought so many because i thought i was gonna make necklaces and sell them on depop but then i brought them home and i was like oh wait i don't want to sell any of these i want to keep them all i want to wear them for myself story of my life so that's what i did i've just been switching out the pendant and using these cord i ordered i have red and then i have a black one and just literally tying it around my neck i love these specifically because my skin has been kind of sensitive recently and i found that my eczema has been coming back on my neck and it can be affected when i wear certain metal jewelry i'm not sure what jewelry yet or what i'm allergic to but these i'm not allergic to at all it's just a cotton or silk cord so it's been working out well i think it looks so good and cute and of course these big glass pendants are such a trend right now as well so i was so excited when i ran into the booth that sold so many different ones and that's kind of why i went ham but i do have a bunch of duplicates of this flower and i have it in red as well so i think i might sell necklaces with those little pendants on depop if you're interested let me know i don't know i found that selling stuff on depop has not even been worth the time it takes these days which is why i haven't been too overwhelmingly active but i do have a lot of stuff i need to clear out i think i might end up just donating a lot of it because i'm kind of frustrated and over depop at this point both shopping and selling on there but who knows maybe i will let me know if you'd be into that i think i also might start posting things on my closet account instead and kind of revamping that so follow it if you want when i have a chance i think i'm gonna change it up a little bit but off topic yet again moving on to my next favorite category music i have a lot of music i'm gonna fly through it i'm gonna try to fly through it <laughs> I'm gonna hate editing the little titles in, but I'll do it just for you. Starting with Not That I'm Anywhere by Cities of You, Drama Baby slash Malibu by Baby Sosa, Albino Steve by RX Poppy, Execution 1999 by Black Smurf, Ice Cream and Swishes by Black Cray, Trip by Young Lean, I'm God by Bass God. This one is pretty cool. It's an Imogen Heap sample. I didn't know that it was sampling a different song, but I came across a song and I was like, oh wait. So yeah, I'm God by Base God, but also I'm God by Imogen Heap. Good songs. It's just very transcending. Careful by Tizo Touchdown. Dude, this song is so good. Like, I don't know what's in it, but something about this song has a chokehold on me. I was listening to it on repeat for days on end. Anytime I would open Spotify, I would listen to it. And then I'd go back and I'd listen to it again. So good. I don't love all his other music. I also love the song, I forget the name, but another song by him I'll insert on the screen but i love that song so much careful by tito touchdown has to be one of my top favorites and more generally i've been listening to hypnos by raven Linnae. it's her debut album i love raven Linnae. love her love her yes she is so pretty she's so talented her music is so good i love her i saw her live at afropunk like three summers ago at this point or maybe even four but yes love her obsessed with her obsessed with all her past music so when she released this album um, I freaked out. I freaked out. It's been on repeat. It did just come out though, so I haven't given it too much of a listen, but I've been listening to it every day. And my favorite song is a single right now. I know, basic, basic, but skin tight, like... That song is too good. That song is actually too good. Listen to that album. If not that album, listen to Skin Tight by Raven Lene featuring Steve Lacey. Like, so good, too good, too good. And also I've been listening to a lot of Fiona Apple, more so last month, but still now. And my faves are The Way Things Are, I Want You To Love Me, of course, and Rack Of His. If you haven't listened to Fiona Apple, I recommend listening to those songs, but all her music is literally amazing. And I think she's 
she's underrated. Might be a bold claim because she is such a established artist, but I think she deserves more praise and more flowers. I'm surprised I didn't hear of her until, I guess, 2022. I didn't really start listening to her. I feel like she should be more of a household name. She deserves it. She's so talented, so talented at everything. And yeah, her music is amazing. So yes, I'm a Fiona Apple stan. Okay, moving right along to media. I have been slacking on media. I don't know if it's my attention span. I don't know what it is, but I haven't really been caring enough to watch shows or movies. I don't know. I just don't think, oh, let me turn on a movie or oh, let me turn on a show. It's just not really on my radar. I would just rather be doing other stuff. I literally would watch YouTube videos over watching a show or a movie. I don't know why, but that's just kind of my mindset right now. I know that watching a movie is so rewarding and watching shows is so rewarding and interesting, but I just can't get myself to turn it on. With that being said, here are some of my favorites. Atlanta. Shut up. Shut up. Atlanta is back. Like, I could cry. I could literally cry. I've been waiting for this moment since the last season. Years. Years. I didn't think it would happen, but it happened. And the new season is so good. Dare I say the best season yet. I've only watched the first three episodes. Probably by the time this is up, the first four episodes of the new season. Because I'm savoring it. I'm not going to rush and finish it and then have to wait. I'm savoring this show. I've learned from my past mistakes and I'm savoring it. I'm watching the episode. I'm reflecting. I'm thinking about it. I'm discussing it with my peers, like, period. So good, dude. Like, so beyond a good, I can't even put it into words. Watch it. If you haven't seen the first couple seasons, watch those. But this season is the best, so far at least, I think. And you can totally skip and watch these episodes. You don't have to watch the past seasons to watch the newest season. So, yeah. No, it's about to thunder. I hope you don't hear it, but I'm gonna finish the video. Atlanta on Hulu. Watch Atlanta. Donald Glover is a genius. Watch Atlanta. It's so damn good. Another show, I haven't really watched much of it, but my co-workers were showing it to me and we watched some clips at work and it was so good. Z-Way. I didn't know she existed, but I'm obsessed with her. I love her. She does kind of interviews. It reminds me a little bit of the Eric Andre show, which I love. I love Eric Andre. He's my celebrity crush. I will go on the record saying that. But Z-Way is such a good show. She's so funny. I love the format of the show. I love the set design. I love her outfits like so good she's the cutest and yeah watch the phoebe bridgers interview it's so funny watch the chet hanks interview it's so funny moving on to more media i did watch a movie breaking news i watched a movie that movie being everything everywhere all at once when i took my last final i said i'm gonna have a me day i went out by myself i went to washington square park i got milk bar ice cream and then i went to a movie and that movie was everything everywhere all at once and i was not ready. I was so not ready for that movie, but it was so good. I'm so glad I went to see it alone the first time because I bawled, like, sobbing multiple times throughout the movie. It was so good. It was easily one of the best movies I've seen in the past couple years. It was just amazing, and you should really watch it if you haven't, even though I feel like everyone has kind of seen it at this point. If you haven't, though, go watch it. Like, are you kidding? But I saw it that time by myself, and it was so good that I went again maybe a week later with my friend so that should tell you about how good it is and yes I cried both times I saw my little eyes out I did and you know how I was saying I haven't really been watching mainstream media, as in like shows or movies or network television? What I have been watching are podcasts. I've been watching so many podcasts, it's crazy. Like podcasts are my thing. They're so comforting, they're so entertaining. I can put it on while I do chores, like wash dishes or clean my room or I'm on the subway. It really just calms me down. I think something about hearing someone just talk and two people talk and have a conversation is really comforting. And also the topics are so interesting sometimes and it's people I really like and admire. I used to not really understand podcasts. I was like what is this whole podcast thing? Why is everyone making a podcast? But I so get it now. A lot of times I'll even just sit and watch the YouTube version of just people sitting and talking. I don't know why. I'm just going through a big podcast phase right now but it's been so good. So here are some of my favorite podcasts I've been watching. Number one, Emergency Intercom. Obviously I watch Emergency Intercom and it's my favorite podcast. 
podcast. Drew and Enya are literally so funny and I remember years and years ago when they had their original podcast and then they stopped and then they kept on saying podcast coming soon, podcast coming soon and I never thought that it would actually come soon but here it is. They've made hella episodes at this point. I'm surprised I haven't talked about it already in my favorites videos but I literally wait 3 p.m. every Friday. You know I'm watching that. You know I'm watching that. My next podcast I've been watching a lot is Anything Goes by Emma Chamberlain. I love Emma Chamberlain. I love hearing what she has to say. I think she has such a good take, such a good perspective. I do think we think similarly, which is nice to hear because I feel like it's rare and sometimes I struggle to relate to a lot of people with how I view things, but I feel like we have a similar perspective on a lot of topics. So it's nice to hear her take and what she has to say about a bunch of different topics. And I like that she chooses a topic for each episode and sticks to it. And it makes each episode so interesting. I wait every Thursday for that new episode. You know I'm watching it. You know I'm tuning in. And yeah, really love Anything Goes. Next, Violating Community Guidelines. This one took a while to grow on me. I know that it's been around for a couple months now, but when it first came out, I wasn't really tuning in. But then I had watched all of my go-to podcasts already and I was looking for something new and I really like Brittany Broski and Sarah Shower. I love their videos and whatever they make. So I was like, let me try this podcast again. And it's so good. They're so funny. I like that they talk about internet topics and they both have such a good sense of humor. I think that one comes out on Mondays. You know I'm tuning in. You know it. And then another podcast I kind of dabble in. I don't really watch it religiously, but Two Hot Takes is pretty good as well. They read Reddit stories and a lot of it is people asking, am I the asshole in this situation? And then they explain the situation and then the hosts give their perspective on is this person the asshole, etc, etc. Pretty interesting. I found this podcast when I was doing my hair one time and I just really needed a lot of stuff to watch and I found it because of Sarah Shower because she was on an episode and since then I've been watching it pretty often. They post clips as well but I've seen most of the episodes at this point. So that's that. Those have been my media favorites and lastly of course we have food favorites. So my number one food favorite I'm so happy to say are cheesecake cones from Trader Joe's. I had them for the first time last summer and I didn't expect to be so pleasantly surprised. But I saw them in the frozen food section of Trader Joe's and I was like, let me try this. I didn't even know it had almond because I don't know what nuts I'm allergic to. I know I'm allergic to peanuts, I know I'm allergic to walnuts, but I don't know if I'm allergic to cashews and almonds, but I drink almond milk, complete tangent. But I was like, hold on, let me try this. And it's so good. I would always ask my dad to pick them up when he went grocery shopping last summer and then they disappeared. Sorry if you could hear the rain outside, it's pouring. They disappeared just when I needed them the most. I literally I literally reached out to Trader Joe's customer service and production and was like, where are the cheesecake cones? Stop playing around. Bring them back right now. This is not okay. But they never got back to me. <laughs> but then I was at Trader Joe's, I think last week, and guess what I saw? Cheesecake cones. They're so good. I got three boxes. I'm on my last box right now. Out of any take-home dessert, these are probably my favorite thing ever. If you like almond-flavored stuff, I'd say get them. Just get them. It doesn't matter what you like. Just get them. You're gonna like them. Trust trust. Another favorite of mine, also from Trader Joe's, has been the orange creamsicle bars. They're new for the summer, I think. I've never seen them before. But yeah, they're good. Try them if you like an orange creamsicle. Don't try them if you don't like an orange creamsicle, because you're not going to like them, because they're an orange creamsicle. But they're good. I really like them, and I really like popsicles, but remember how I was saying how I love Outshine? They stopped carrying them at my local grocery store. I literally can't have anything. So those have been my substitute. And then lastly, I swear I might have added this as my favorite in my last video, but Kettle Brand Jalapeno Potato Chips. They're so good. I am biased to any jalapeno kettle cooked potato chip. Those are kind of my chip of choice. Those and then a hot chip like Takis, Hot Cheetos are my favorite. And I would say chips in general are my favorite snack, but a jalapeno kettle cooked potato chip is my favorite. And I've never really had the kettle ones. I used to always get the Lay's ones because that's just what was around. But now the grocery store near me mainly only carries the Kettle brand ones and they're so good. You've had a jalapeno chip. I don't really have to explain but they're so good. On that note, those have been all of my favorites for this past April and May 2022. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you ever want to see me again. I hope you do. But if not, that is cool too. Stay safe, stay well, 
take care peace and love and i will see you in my next video later mm -hmm.